Over the past few weeks at the time of recording this video, I've been seeing a lot of controversy over Gear 5. When this form debuted in the manga, it caused worldwide hype that even lasted throughout 2023 for its anime premiere. But now in the present day and all the hype going away, opinions of this form have changed completely. Going from insane levels of hype to questioning if it is ruining One Piece is a take so extreme I had to do a video on it. In this video, I am simply going to be going over what's most commonly being said around this community-wide debate with my own opinion on it. As always, if you'd enjoy more One Piece content like this, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because YouTube tells me that 99% of you who watch my videos just aren't subscribed for some reason. So be sure to subscribe and comment on ideas of videos you'd like to see be done in the comment section below. To start off, while what I think about this topic is very split between sides and certain viewpoints, I want to go into this starting on a positive note going into things that are just not a problem and things that do not make gear 5 ruin the series by any means if anything it just adds to it before going into this i also recommend you check out a previous video i made a little while ago where i go into how luffy's destiny as the joy boy is balanced with his own dream to become the king of the pirates what i think what was done so well about gear 5 was how oda used to tie up all the themes of freedom and luffy's character together. And if you really think about it, Gear 5 is the perfect form for Luffy, taking in all of the aspects that make Luffy so lovable, showing traits such as goofiness and hope people can depend on, while now showing Luffy as this god who spreads smiles to the people who see him. Luffy himself even states that this is the pinnacle of what he can do, and after defeating Kaido, we see how he can be all of these things at his best. But after seeing Luffy fight people like Luchi and Kizaru, it's now when people are starting to get sick of all of this in a way that comes off like people are trying to say that before gear 5 luffy was always this very serious guy and now he is just this goofy character used for comedic relief people need to understand that throughout the series in every arc luffy has always had somewhat of a goofy comedic fighting style and outside of combat was often shown when oda wanted to portray these kinds of panels and we see this use while also at times being very serious. When Luffy has his second fight against Crocodile, when reading through this fight and specifically through this chapter, you can tell that by no means is Luffy joking around. Oda adds this very light-hearted tone to this scene as well as we see Luffy filling himself up with water and Oda draws him all fat and attacks Crocodile by spitting at him. We also see a bit of this while Luffy is facing off against Arlong. In this moment when the two first interact, we see Luffy making certain comments which makes everyone around them look in disbelief and even people on Luffy's side even question why Luffy isn't being fully serious at a time like this. But Gear 4 in my opinion shows this the best with Doflamingo's reaction to it leading him to make certain remarks and straight up calling Gear 4 a joke and calling out Luffy for not taking this fight seriously. As Luffy consistently throughout Gear 4's first few fights in the series is just being used in a very goofy and comedic way, such as after its debut in Whole Cake Island, when Luffy is fighting Cracker and makes himself so fat that he takes him out with just his big stomach alone. The reason why I'm bringing all of these examples up is because the purpose of a Devil Fruits Awakening is to bring one's powers to the next stage. While in Gear 5, Luffy is taking aspects of his Devil Fruit and fighting style and bringing it to the next level, which is again, the point of a Devil Fruit Awakening. And with these abilities, goofing off can also be seen as the purpose due to Luffy being shown when using Gear 5 to create his own tone to take away from the tension of the battle because of how he is acting, which remains consistent with the idea of the Joy Boy bringing smiles to those currently suffering. But with all the points that I just made, hopefully you guys can also see how this can all be very problematic to different storylines. How Gear 5 is being used and when having Luffy create his own tone in the middle of things already going on, I just think this new tone can be used to outshine more serious things going on. After first seeing Gear 5, Oda started drawing this gag that he still uses in some of the most recent chapters of the manga. What I am specifically talking about is that there are these certain panels of Luffy where his eyes are just popping out whenever he is shocked, confused, or in different states of emotion. I think a perfect example of this gag just being a complete problem is while in a 
Head Island on chapter 1070 when Oda decides to draw this after Luffy literally distracts Sentomaru, leading him to get badly cut by Luchi. Even though Sentomaru claims he noticed Luchi, the fact that when Luffy at least feels responsible for making a mistake that puts another in harm, which by the way completely goes against the whole purpose of Nika in certain aspects, I just do not think it's the right time for Oda to be drawing in this style to try and humor the audience. Even though it may be in character for Luffy to be all goofy while in combat, I think that it needs to come at the right time. Even against Kaido, there are moments when Luffy is all goofy, but since the start of their final rematch is used to showcase Gear 5, I'm okay with Oda using that time to display Gear 5, and maybe Oda felt that at certain moments a very comedic way was the best way to express different things such as Luffy's reaction to getting hit by Kaido at certain moments. That's all fine, but you can still have moments where Luffy really takes the fight seriously to finally win, like in this fight when Luffy fully locks in to beat Kaido and free the people of Wano. Now, how I usually see people respond to this is they obviously like to use the goofiness as a way to try and support Gear 5, but sometimes people have even just started to suggest that all of these goofy moments for comedic relief is what holds the most significance when we see Luffy fight throughout the series. So how Luffy overall is now is just not a problem because it's very common throughout the manga that it just feels normal. That's how some people think. As often as that's shown, that is just not what should be taken entirely from these fights. For example, in Eni's lobby, when the side effects of Gear 3 come into place making Luffy tiny, no one holds that as the most memorable moment. It's Usopp's speech to motivate Luffy and to giving it his all in this final stand against Luchi, and seeing Luffy's final combo that pushes Luffy to his limit, making him scream in pain as he desperately is trying to take down Luchi. But now in Egghead Island, by having Luffy act consistently, we'll just say out of character, we see Luffy's goofiness feel even more out of place to the point where Luffy is just laughing when Vegapunk, the old man who Luffy is supposed to be giving safe passage off the island to, has just been stabbed and might not make it. Overall, despite Luffy rematching Luchi and fighting Kizaru, when he goes into Gear 5, all dialogue and all the exchanges in these fights go out the window. It just feels like Oda is trying to make Luffy too much like Nika, making them the same which leads into my next problem with Gear 5. Starting way back in Fishman Island, Nika has been built up and described as the savior figure that is said to liberate the world. But the way it has been right now, it feels to me that the lore behind Nika has just been used to overshadow Luffy's identity. Since Awakening Gear 5, we've started to see characters like Saturn refer to Luffy as just Nika rather than by his real name. I understand through certain perspectives why this merging of Luffy with the Nika lore may be done the way that it has been, but it is problematic because it is overshadowing Luffy's core ideals of self-determination and not dictating the end of his journey, and it is just to the point where people aren't even talking about Luffy, just about Nika. And I think that what makes this all worse is that it is all happening in Luffy's first arc as a Yonko. In any other arc, when we see Luffy reach a major milestone, his achievement easily would have been a big highlight coming into the next arc. But now it does not feel like that at all, and the focus has shifted away from Luffy himself and onto the lore of Nika. And what makes this all feel so off is that Luffy has reached the highest level he can as a pirate before becoming the king of the pirates. And now he is also widely regarded as a great pirate to the red-haired pirate crew, making him very close to fulfilling his promise made in chapter 1. Before I end off this video, I just want to emphasize that the introduction of Gear 5 worked incredibly well. It was a new transformation that we all wanted to see more of, and overall the tone of the fight being what it was while in Wano also worked. But I think that moving forward, we need to cut back on this newly brought out tone that is just exclusive to Luffy Luffy having these moments being a very goofy character while in gear 5 in the middle of an intense battle. As I said earlier, there's a time for this, and there's a time when we need things to be more serious. And by serious, I just mean those non-goofy moments that Luffy has throughout the series, such as at the end of Luffy's fight with Enel when Luffy is ringing the Shandorian bell. This is a scene that has no humor, just an incredible feeling of relief. Lastly, Luffy and Nika need to be handled better as this connection the two have has been handled
called as Oda is merging Luffy and Nika rather than letting Luffy maintain his own identity while bearing this power. It's pretty simple. Oda needs to focus on Luffy using Gear 5 the way he uses the powers that he already had. I think a way that Oda can fix this is to focus more on Luffy using Gear 5 in his own way. That way you can still parallel Luffy to Nika and not have the character be consumed as a whole by him. So although Luffy is fulfilling the prophecy of the Joy Boy, Luffy can do so his own way with this power and not just being Nika's reincarnated soul. Luffy can fulfill the prophecy of the Joy Boy in his own fashion and have him staying true to his character.